Fable 3. We're working on the correlation, double A gamer for life. All right, so now it's time for Logan to pay for the deeds that he's done. And uh, he's going to try to back talk saying that he did what he had to do to prepare for the darkness. And, you know, we need him to help fight the darkness. But, eh, I don't need him. And uh, he's a douche, and we're going to take care of him the way we have to. So let's get to it. Made it. Just like I always knew you would. It doesn't get any easier, though. You have a country to run now. And with Jasper busy in the sanctuary, you'll need a new personal aid. Someone who can keep you organized. Let me introduce you to... Hobson. Hobson's the name, Your Majesty. May I say what an extraordinary honor it is to serve you. I have a vast wealth of experience, I assure you, though I have yet to experience vast wealth. <laughs> that, Your Majesty, is an example of the sense of humor which will no doubt make our time together such a delight. No doubt. Well, I'll leave you two to get better acquainted. I should begin preparations for the trial. The trial? Of course. The very first item on today's agenda. Among my other qualities, I am well-versed in toadying, public relations, and time management. And I heartily believe the key to being a successful king is following a well-scheduled royal agenda. If you will permit me, here are today's appointments. I'm sure you will do a marvelous job presiding over your brother's trial, which, as I said, will be your very first royal duty. Your subjects await in the throne room for what is sure to be an historic occasion, Your Majesty. I cannot tell you what joy it brings me to see you crowned king at last. I'm afraid your property was irreparably damaged during the battle. You have a full royal suit. I must say I am in awe, even without anyone wearing it. Any other business to attend to? All stand to attention for the King of Albion. Logan, former King of Albion, you stand accused today of crimes against the kingdom and its people. Those who brought you to justice will now speak. There's not a soul alive in the kingdom who hasn't suffered for his glory and plenty who've died for it. I say is, let him have some death of his own. Look, I'm not one for lopping people's heads off, but we saw Major Swift executed, like it was a bloody circus act. He deserves nothing less as far as I'm concerned. But aren't we better than that? Isn't that why we fought to be here now? I've seen what Logan has done to this city. People starving to death, children forced to work, but killing him now won't solve anything. It is not my place to decide his fate, but his betrayal condemned many of my people to death. He promised us salvation and then left us to face the darkness alone. I had good reason to break that promise, and I had good reason for the crimes you claim I committed. The day I returned to Albion, I received a visit from a blind seer, Teresa, our father's guide. She showed me the future of this kingdom. The darkness in Aurora is coming here, bringing death, destruction, the end of our way of life. The sacrifices I had to make, I did them to protect Albion. If a few had to suffer, it was to build an army. If a few had to die, it was to save a country. I have spent years preparing for this attack. Let me stand by your side now, and all my soldiers will be yours to command. Let us face the coming darkness. 
together. If this is true, if it's really coming here, we are all in grave danger. You have the power over life and death, brother. Now choose. You can't escape punishment for what you've done, Logan. I sentence you to death. The King has made his decision. Logan will pay for his crimes against the people of Albion. With his life. You have fulfilled the first part of your destiny. You were little more than a child when you left the castle. You have become a hero, a leader, and now, finally, a monarch. But your journey is not yet done. Now you are king. You can know the truth. Albion will soon be attacked, and the threat could not be greater. Darkness is coming to our land. It cannot be reasoned with, it cannot be halted. The ruler of Albion is all that stands between the world we inhabit and that darkness. That is why you had to take your brother's place. The course of history demands it. If you do not succeed, everything we know will come to an end. Why didn't you tell me all this at the start? It was never about Logan, was it? I told you what you needed to know, and I never spoke anything but the truth. With Logan on the throne, Albin would have been doomed. This much I know. Only with a hero wearing the crown do we stand a chance of survival. And how do I stop it? You won't. Its arrival is inevitable. One year from now, the darkness will fall upon Albion. All you can do is prepare and hope to save as many of your people as you can. How you do so is up to you. Two paths lie ahead. You may keep the promises you have made and be known as a benevolent ruler, but understand that doing so will leave little to spend on the kingdom's protection and may lead you to disaster. It is not easy to be popular and keep the treasury full unless you are willing to sacrifice your personal wealth. But you may also choose to break those promises to harm your people in order to save them. You will not lack the means to build the army you need, but you will be hated. This path will cast you in the role of a tyrant, as it did your brother. You have one year to do what Logan could not. Be the ruler that readies Albion for the greatest threat it has ever faced, and be the hero that can stand against it.
Your Majesty, I'm not sure what to say after receiving such news. The darkness that is coming. People won't understand what it means. Nobody could, without living through it first. We need to prepare. If we can't stop the attack from happening, we have to be ready when it comes. You will need to raise a fortune to pay for the army we'll need. Hobson will show you the treasury, and I'm sure he can explain just how to fill it. Indeed I can. Then I will leave you to it. Ben and I will begin recruiting and training soldiers at once. If you will follow me, your majesty. Oh, how I have lo Okay, so we dealt with Logan, and then uh, went up to the road of rule and got to our level 5 stuff. Uh, nice to have enough seals to buy uh, the three uh, upgrades. And then uh, now comes the, the business of running the country. So I transferred over all my money, or I'm going to, so there's plenty of money to deal with stuff. And then uh, that's it, so let's get to it.